Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, welcome to the Retired Vet Show, to be exact. Secretary of State Anthony Blinken has promised additional $2 billion to the Ukraine in additional weapon uh, procurement. Now, you might be thinking, why are we giving them more money? Exactly. We just gave them $60 billion on top of the over $100 billion we've already sent to Ukraine with no accountability at all. Yet we send them $100 billion more. The picture you see to the left is Secretary of State Blinken in Kiev, Ukraine, playing a guitar in the middle of a war between Ukraine and Russia. And he's rocking in the free world. He's playing that song with a group there, rocking in the free world in the middle of a war between Russia and Ukraine. You talk about the JV team. This is what Barack Obama was talking about. This is a JV team, this administration. Secretary of State. Oh my goodness. It infuriates you, doesn't it? So we are gonna give them an additional $2 billion of military assistance. Blinken said in a press conference in Kyiv that the new package would include money through the foreign military financing program, which allows Ukraine to purchase weapons directly, directly from the United States military industrial complex, basically, before they deliver them to Ukraine. Of course, these type of ships is going to take longer because the people have to actually build this stuff. But Biden was giving them uh, uh, weapons out of our pre-existing stock for our own military. So he kind of he gave them hundred one point five billion dollars worth of that equipment. Are you adding all this money up that they're spending in Ukraine? They have put no restrictions on Ukraine. Just so you know. Whatever you need, however much you need, United States is going to give it to you. But let's tell Israel that, hey, you can't go into Rafa and you can't kill those terrorists. Otherwise, we're not going to give you the weapons that you require. And oh, by the way, we know where they are, but we're not going to tell you. Unless you do it our way. Last month, they gave them a $6 billion package for Ukraine. You see how this money is continuously, they're going to be up, up upwards of $200 billion going into Ukraine. Now, how does that affect you at your table? Are you getting a reduction on your gas prices? Are you getting a reduction on your food prices? Are you getting a reduction on your insurance? But yet still, we're sending close to almost $150 billion to Ukraine. Just unimaginable. And just flat out just makes your blood boil how much money we sent to Ukraine. And yet they're still losing. They're getting some of the best equipment that the United States has. Probably got some people over there on the ground from the United States helping them with the equipment that we send in them because they don't know how to use it. And yet they still lose. But we still continue to pour money into Ukraine. With no accountability of over the hundred and maybe forty million billion dollars with the capital B that we sent over there, no accountability. Nobody can tell us where the money went. Nobody can tell us if even they got the weapons that we sent them, because there's nobody keeping account of it. But let me know what you think down in the comments. If you can like this video, hit that like button. Please share this video so other people can know how our money is being wasted in Ukraine. And thanks again for listening and watching the Retired Vet Show. Please subscribe to the channel for future content. And as always, God bless you all. Stay safe.